Hi guys, welcome back to Disney Dilemma and today I'm going to do a video on what I pack in my suitcase. So as you can see, I have got everything prepared here already in the suitcase and I'm just going to take you guys along with me today and show you the essentials that I think I need in my suitcase. So that'll be fun. First thing first is I'm going to show you what I pack in my large suitcase. This year I am taking one large pack suitcase and one large suitcase which is empty to bring things back that I want to bring back. Normally I would just condense all my stuff down into one suitcase so then I could have half to bring stuff back but as I find premium economy this time I get to have two large suitcases which I am very excited about. Um, I fly, I fly at the end of the month to Orlando and I am so so excited. I cannot wait for this trip. There's just something about it that I am mega, mega excited about more than all the other trips that I've been on. So let's get this started. The first thing I recommend with packing is packing cubes. Now you can get these from loads of different retailers, luggage retailers. I get mine off eBay and I think they was £5.69 or something for a pack of six. So all you do with them is you roll your clothes down into rolls and then pack them in the rolls and it condenses it down and also it makes it easy when you get there to pull out t-shirts, trousers, all in different separate packing cubes. Now I'm not going to go into too much depth with the outfits that I've got as I'm going to be doing an outfit of the day vlog out, out in Florida itself. So I thought I'd talk you through the kind of things that I take. Yeah. So. The first thing says what you've always got to remember is travel plugs. Always take your US travel adapters. Now, these come in a little bag that I've got, and it's just one. You plug your plug in, and then you select which country you're going to at the top. So, obviously, mine's USA. So, I always flag out the USA ones, and they was like £4 off eBay. I will try and find the link. I bought them quite a while ago now, uh, and they've done me on numerous trips. So, got two of those and they're just for me okay so the next thing is my toiletry bag now this is a Tinkerbell toiletry bag that I got from Primark quite a few years ago now so I don't think you'll be able to get it so what I have in there is oh everything's falling out on me so in here I have a pack of bubbles just because you can never have too many and they always go missing because bubbles do, that's what they do. <clears throat> I have my face wash condensed down into a smaller pot. It is a Neutrogena grapefruit wash that I like to use because it helps me not have a breakout as bad. Um, these pots, you get a set of five, I think, from Primark. And to go with that is the Neutrogena facial scrub that I've also condensed down into a little pot. This is from Primark, you get a pack of two and it's a cleansing mitt. It's basically like the makeup remover cloth, but it's in a mitt instead. You get two of those for £1.50. I'm just going to take one because that's all I need. Uh, I got this from Primark as well and it's a hydrating mist, cucumber and aloe and it was £2. I just thought it would be good in the parks when I'm really hot and sweaty and I could do a freshen up on my face. So that was two pounds. I've not used that before, so that's my first time using that one. The next thing I got from Primark again is the Sun Protect Hair and Scalp Protector Spray. Now, my scalp always gets burnt, so this is a bargain for me. Um, I'm having my hair plattered for when I go away as well, so my scalp will be exposed, so that will help me not to get burns. That was two pound fifty. The next thing I got, I actually got, I watched this on Crispy S'mores video, what Steph recommended to get the Peppermint Cooling and Reviving Foot Spray. It was £1.50 and when I seen it in Primark, I knew that Steph had recommended it so I had to get it. So thank you Steph. The next things I take is, I already had these from last year so I'm just going to use them again. I sometimes get like a rash where the sun's been so it's like an allergy to the sun. So piss boo in however you say it, is the one that stops that reaction happening. I take a 15 and I take a 30 ultralight allergy of the sun. So they're from last year. You can get those from any drugstore, any supermarket. They should stock them. 
got to be protected in the sun. The next thing I take is a Nivea Pearl and Beauty Antiperspirant because it's all hot and sweaty in Florida. So yes, this stops me from stinking. Mm. You can get that from anywhere. Anywhere. Uh, I don't want to take my big hairspray, so I got a small baby one. Mm -hmm. Just to keep those little baby flicks in place, you know. The next thing is toothpaste. We all need toothpaste because we don't want smelly breath. Breathing on all those cast members with your big smelly breath. This keeps it nice and fresh. And obviously I'm going to be eating a lot of sweeties over there. So that will keep my teeth nice and clean. Tablets, ibuprofen, paracetamol, I can't say them. But we all want to keep headaches at bay when we're going for a character breakfast. The next thing I got is a magic face cloth, which was a pound. Just so I could benefit from them in the hotel bathroom to cleanse my face. Now the next thing I was very excited about when I seen these, these are from Superdrug and it is the Baloo Cotton Candy Creamy Shower Foam. Everybody wants to smell of cotton candy when you're in Disney World. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I also got the cream foam to go with that to keep me nice and moisturised and silky smooth. And then I got the Fizzy Berry 2-in-1 Body Spray. I can freshen up with this, I can smell fruity fresh with this as well and it also acts as an antiperspirant I can't go wrong with antiperspirant that is the toiletry bag I'm messing up my suitcase now I seen these in home bargains so I thought I could do with one I think it was a pound just a little fan for my face because my face gets sweaty um, I have little pouches so I will keep in here all my socks in one place. I have got just basic white trainer socks from Primark. Some Gryffindor socks for when I go to Harry Potter World. And they're like little mesh footies so my feet don't get hot and sweaty. And I've also got some little chip socks in there. I'm not showing you everything because I don't want to ruin my outfit of the day for you. So, socks are just in one pouch. Handy. So then in the next pouch. Ah, swimwear. And I advise to get these for anybody going to Florida. Just because the floor is so hot when you're in the water parks. And I don't like getting my feet out. So, water shoes. They have done me on every trip. And they still look brand new. You can get these from Sports Direct, and I believe these were two for eleven pounds. I downsized in these by one size because I thought they'd come up pretty big. Um, the reason I'm taking them this year as well is because we're going to discover a cove, and if a, a fish touches my foot, I will freak. Whereas when I've got these on, they can touch my feet as much as they want, and I will not be bothered. So then. And then we've got all my swimwear in there, bikinis, etc. But again, I will be showing those on my outfits of the day. Next thing I got is two pairs of Sanooks. Sanooks. I don't know how you say it. I'm new to wearing those. Never worn them in the parks before. But these are Sanook yoga mat sandals. Now these ones, like a tea bar. Then this wraps around your foot and you tie it. But that bit come a little bit tight. So I've snipped the little seam on the inside and now they're perfect. So that will stop me from having foot ache. I got them in this design. And I also got them in the, the regular yoga sling. In like a rainbowy print on the black. I love them so much. I can Just by wearing them and putting them on, I can see how comfortable they're going to be. I'm going to love them and they're going to be a number one thing for me to take to Florida from now on. So then, in this bag, another little packing cube, I have underwear. I'm not going to show you my smalls. I'm keeping them private. They're not even going to go in the outfit of the day. They're keeping private. So then the next thing, I have just got three cubes full of outfits. So this has got loads in. I've got this one with clothes in. And I've got this one with clothes in. 
Normally, I wouldn't take this many clothes, but because I have got a luggage allowance that allow me two large suitcases, I thought, why not the hell not take loads of clothes and freshen up and be a fashionista? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to show them yet because I'm going to be doing outfits of the day, but I take play suits, shorts, t-shirts, dresses, and I also take leggings that I cut down so I don't get chub rub on my thighs. Mm-hmm. I take a beach towel, I just take this Disney princessy one just because I know they can buy them there but I always like to take that towel, always like to take that. Footwear I take my white converse which I will be flying in so I've put them in my hand luggage which I will show on that video. A shower poof, an invisible bra. I just showed it after to describe that to you guys. I found these handy. Just one disposal razor in a packet. I've never seen them like that before. Also got these shoes just for a little dressing up but still comfy for like when I go to California grill and things. I have got my lilac fluffy sliders. Feel like a bird when I wear them. Anybody else got them? You feel like a bird when you wear them, because I do. <laughs> then into the next section of the suitcase. <sighs> this stole my heart from the moment I saw it, and I just had to have it. It wasn't available in the UK, and then I've seen it on ASOS. Oh, I love it. It is the Danielle Nicole Tinkerbell side bag. Look at it! It's got a holographic wing. So that is going to be a park bag for me. I've gone crazy on bags this year because I'm an idiot. So this bag is a park bag. My partner carries the most things in his big backpack. So I just have ones with little things that I need in. But this one's from Primark. Oh my. Oh. Oh no. My Mrs. Potts has been squashed. I have a spare but she's dead oh god <laughs> mrs potts <laughs> oh i've seen some more mrs potts in town today as well and now we're gonna get another one <laughs> she's dead <laughs> i said everybody else took the mrs potts to florida and she's died <laughs> oh i'm really upset do you know how rare these things are my suitcase is going to bloody squashed it man mrs potts i'll give you cpr later i've got this bag the holographic you can tell i like holographic and unicorns and things like that but this is packed full of jewelry you can see in there jewelry sunglasses let's hope we don't get squashed like mrs potts did over there another thing that i've not already got but a backpack Mickey Mouse backpack. Mm. Yep, that's one of my little park bags. My Disney poncho that has served me on numerous years and is still going strong. A little unicorn for my drink in the pool. Now I've got a big inflatable unicorn for me to take, but didn't realise you're not allowed to take them in the hotel pools, did I? So I can't take that. My hat, which says mermaid on it. That's been squashed. Oh, I ain't put it through on that. But this is my little sun hat. I have to get iron on that. Bloody hell. So yeah, you hear me talking about the leggings that I cut down into size. Well, I've not yet done it. So they're just little cheap leggings from Primark. I think they're, how much are they? It doesn't say, I think they're £2.70, but I'm just going to snip the legs off and have them as like little cycling shorts to stop the chub rub. Face wipes. Chip, chip, survive. Chips in one piece. But Mrs. Potts is dead. I can't get over it. I have got my original, not original, but original to me because of my first pair that I bought. My pink sequin mini ears that I got from what Disney World. The pink mini ears 
and some of it squashed as well and these light up but they also interact with shows and fireworks and the battery's gone oh no it's on so they interact with the fireworks and the show so they go along with the lights which is pretty cool to have my next ears i'm taking i got these from hannah marie magic and she is fabulous i asked her to make me this custom pair which one side is rapunzel and the other side is ariel and these are for my bon voyage breakfast at Tretter al forno the ariel and the rapunzel themed breakfast so when rapunzel's there i can be like hi rapunzel how you doing and then when ariel can come around i'll be like hey my girl are you okay i'm ariel now but look at the detailing oh. Hello Marie Magic, you are amazing girl. Mm -mm. Mess my hair up. The next one, I asked Hannah to design me these to go with my Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party outfit. I am not going to disclose any more info, but I'm going to show you the ears. And she's done me these ones. And I do believe that the blue, the boo glows in the dark. I have got two more ears coming off Hannah Marie Magic. Uh, they have not yet arrived, I'm still waiting for them to arrive, but I can't wait for them because they are pretty amazing. Cannot wait. So that, guys, is about everything that I pack in my suitcase. I will put my toiletry bag inside a carrier bag just in case anything leaks so it doesn't get all of my clothes. But again, that safety is there because the clothes are in the packing cube as well, so it's got to soak through that if anything does spill, touch wood. Uh, I also lock my case with the... Uh, include a lot that's in with the suitcase i also put a strap around it for extra safety and then i will also put a multicolored ribbon on the handle of the case just so when it comes round and if it's another suitcase that's like mine i can spot mine out easily and pull it off the belt like i said i am taking another suitcase which is empty to bring things back i will have my backpack and i will also have my hand luggage bag which i am going to do in a different video just so this video doesn't go on forever so that's it for my suitcase guys so if you liked my videos please remember to subscribe to my video and if you would like to get notifications whenever i upload a video please click the little bell i am new to doing videos so i am still getting used to these things but i am going to be doing a full holiday vlog for 14 days in florida and i cannot wait to take you along with me and show me thanks for watching guys i love it so much and i appreciate your views thank you bye